Hello boys and girls, welcome to peek, take a peek as I new vision all over Halot. I meant to exit the cave and go to campsite and travel to the other campsite and in doing so save the game but I came out of the wrong exit. I think I am... I am not here, I am actually here. Ah oh, no, more like here. Yeah, I think I'm here. So, and and since I see some... Uh, some uh, local objects nearby, I thought that I would just carry on. See if there's something to discover in, uh, in this particular corner. Oh wait, what's this? Another exit slash entrance. Oh wait, I think that's the one that I thought it was. Maybe. Ah yeah, that's that's the one where I came out. Whoa! Hello. Huh. Good to know. So this was even more one-way thing. Ah, but we get a note here. <gasps> it's a campfire! Oh my! So it's a student's note, I take it. Ah no, it's a research note. So these quote unquote shadows is probably what we're seeing. The uh the glowy dudes. Section twelve, huh? Okay, and let's try to determine where we are then. Okay, so we are here, 1576, and one of these Oh, is this the exit that I'm seeing? Or is this the exit that I'm seeing? Oh, I don't know. One or the other. So this is an accessible exit. Oh, this is like a proper junction. So which was the way that I fell? Can I go out from here? We can look out from here. This is where I came from. Oh! Uh, outside. Well, 
little outside-ish. Another lovely cove, or whatever you call it. I wonder if those spikes fall down from there. Uh, okay, you can only travel one way. Got it. Well, let's go here then. that I have I have no idea how to actually handle them like avoiding them seems to work to a point can I like sprint past it that there were glowy footprints. What's that? Uh, knife. So one of the message uh, sites had a knife, another had a flashlight. Okay, if I, if I wander on from here Try to run past. Okay, so I could also exit here. Ah, oh, so much light. Why? How? Is the moon shining in? That's probably a good thing. Also, what's that glow ahead? That's one of that those ominous glows. Ah yeah, I think the, the orange glow actually does mark the shadow site right now. Uh, easy now. exactly know where I'm going. <gasps> Numbers. 2177. Uh, are we gonna run into one of the students now? Okay, this is like a major sight. I ain't gonna press anything. Uh, not, not at least until I know a way out. Also, where might we be? So let me go back, check these numbers. Twenty one seventy seven. Write it down. Twenty one. Twenty one seventy seven. 
to seven map. I think I'm somewhere in this section of the cave right now. So, 77, 17, 77, 18, 77, 21, 77 is this exit. Oh, I know. It's the it's the place where I didn't pick up the thing because I justifiably sus suspected that it's gonna it's not gonna be pretty okay let's check the exits before I do anything we have glowy footprints Moving about over there. It keeps moving about. There seems to be just one. be wrong about this but in the first cave it seemed to me that going into the natural light outside kind of sort of held them back for a while at least oh what's that up there ah so much about that <laughs> actually want to activate this site. And I think this is my my exit. But now this bugger is is buggering around here. I think if you're close enough then you start seeing the footprints. Is it coming? Okay, once it starts coming up here then I'm gonna go down there and grab the thing. Yeah, it's coming. Okay. Ah, no, let's... discovered the first body. Let's run away, run away, run away, run away. And then read the thing once I'm safely outside. Go, 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 go. even try to interact with the girl's picture. I wonder if that's possible. So we discovered the first bodies by the pine trees. A makeshift campfire suggested they tried to warm up. The bodies were only in underwear. 
I decided to thoroughly search the area between the tent and the tree line. I discovered the other bodies every few hundred meters apart. The position indicated the victims attempted to return to the tent as fast as they could. This could mean that the threat was gone and the group decided to go back to the tent, or just the opposite. Someone or something appeared from the forest and forced its victims to run. At this point, it is difficult to determine what exactly happened. I have collected small samples from all bodies for further research at the unit's laboratory. I discussed the situation with the rest of the rescue team, and afterwards, they focused on the visual inspection of the tent and areas by the trees, and I entered the forest. Enter the forest, huh? Well, I bet he's still in the forest. Right then, so where are we now? Ah. Oh, okay, so these, these map markings are individual to each site. I am here, I guess. Decorated boards. So I'm guessing there will be some sort of site of worship somewhat ahead. And there is south. Right, I'm gonna take a little break before I carry on. So, episode ends here. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye for now, and see you soon.